this all crap. This is the place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and. This is Diana Duwap, and you are listening to the Elijah Bailey Podcast. Thanks for downloading the Elijah Bailey Show from iTunes or BlackStudios.com. And here's a word from some of the folks that make it possible for you to hear this show for free every Thursday. Hey everybody, Elijah 5000 here. The Buckety and myself, thank you guys so much for supporting the show. But we wanted to make sure that you know where to go to get amazing original pop culture t-shirts. Go to our sponsors at ripsapparel.com and at checkout, use promo code Elijah Bailey Show to save 10% on whatever your purchase is. It could be clothing, it could be backpacks, it could be posters, it could be a figurine that they have. Whatever it is, you get the lowest price. So again, promo code Elijah Bailey Show at checkout and save 10%. I love arguing with you. You do. The camera's wrong. I got to fix it. Okay. And three, (laughs) two, one. This is how we start the show off every single week. Too low. How low can you go? Not that low. low. Oh, okay. Uh, But we are here. I'm Elijah 5000. I am the underscore buckety. Yes, who is fixing lights, camera, and creating action. action. There we go. Yes. Uh, We're here with the third week of the Elijah Bailey Show. Every third week of the month, we break down... The reviews, the releases, and all the news in the video game world. So this is our video game edition of the Elijah Bailey Show, episode 150. And before we start, What's up, player? you guys will, <laughs> we <laughs> talked about this earlier, you guys will start seeing something different. This is episode 150 today, Yes. but once we start adding the tags, this could be episode like 175, 180. Yeah, because what we're going to start doing is not including the episode number within our title. So as you guys may know, we're using episode 50, blah, 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 and no longer is going to have that included. So It'll be uh, in parentheses. Yeah, so you just got to stay up to date. If you stay up to date, then you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, people are like, we're on a, this is uh, the Bailey Bugle issue 15, and this is the Elijah Bailey Show 1. It's like, no, this is the Bailey Bugle episode, whatever, yes. <laughs> whatever to keep yes. it in line. Uh, but we're here, and we're going to talk video games, but that'll be coming, uh, if not this episode, then the next episode. We also have a video game giveaway, because one of our releases is the uh, sequel to this game, uh, the Division is what we're giving away today on today's show, and prepare you for The Division 2, which we'll talk about yes. uh, shortly. So if you have not played Division 2, and you hear a lot about it because it's everywhere, yeah. we have The Division for the PS4 that we can give you a copy of. Yes, so that way you can get started on and your free. journey. And it's free. away. It's weird because The Division 2, from what I've heard from the... Uh, the CEO and some of the developers is completely different. They learn from all their mistakes. Thank God. They, yeah. What's so, what, uh, unfortunately, what's so bad, I don't want to take too much time on it, but what's so bad is that for people like me, yeah, uh, they have to do a lot to make me want to buy this game at full price. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they've done a lot, but I don't feel like they're at where you want them to be. <laughs> where I want them Just, to be at. Yeah, because they did a lot of changing there's more reward for the things that you do you're not just wanderingly wandering aimlessly getting like oh i gave this guy like uh some beans or a coke can so he's gonna give me some slack that's some bullshit i I, 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 I didn't like that part yeah so Um, it's gonna be a lot different so we got that we got all the new releases are coming out this month of may or a month of march i'm Mm -hmm. getting ahead of myself and we also got some video games news, news for you on this episode of the motherfucking Elijah Bailey show. Dude, I like how you do that intro. Thanks for downloading. I hate Elijah how you Bailey did that. My- I know. Give me the real respect, sir. <laughs> and the Elijah Bailey show. How do you do it? I said <laughs> this is episode 150 of the Elijah Bailey show, and we start right now. That's how you do it. Sorry. I mean, you can do it however you want. Yeah, let's go. Okay, do it. One, <laughs> two, three, go. Hey. You got it. You got it. Hey. <laughs> the Elijah Bailey show. Starts right now. The fossils are going to keep getting longer. Starts right now. Starts right now. Starts ah. right now. Ah, ah, ah. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up, everybody? Bad oh. customer service. Yes. Oh, my God. Going That's a place you love. Food. This bitch Got had this to be so rude. Mm, 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 I don't mm, want to mm. eat there no more. Wow. Blah, blah. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say that. I, I do kind of yeah. want to be there again, but she's mean. Maybe we just need she to go to the other location. Like the Hulk. Oh, you can give way too much right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is the Elijah Bailey Show. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, peasants. Welcome. Now, welcome, everybody, here live on Twitch in Patreon. If you're not a part of our exclusive club in Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash Elijah Bailey Show. There, $1 a month gets you everything. Advances on giveaways, prizes, uh, uncut video and audio of the show. You get exclusive content, uh, more gameplay than what you guys are getting now. Uh, and, and the list goes on and on. There's so many things that we're revamping. You get yes. behind the scenes footage of the things that are going on at the studio things are going on my house um personal reviews for video games anime comics manga whatever it is that we're looking at you guys get that nobody else does and only for one dollar a month and that contribution helps the show out if you like what we do if you like the show if you like us bringing you information each and every week whether it be comics anime video games or just a bugle then that is how you show your love and support if you can't support financially subscribe rate and review on whatever platform it helps us out all the same way and we want to tell everybody happy st patty's day do you have your green on sir uh yes where Godzilla. Uh, oh, congratulations uh, i don't know if that is that reptile what's his name no, uh, it's so not reptile. Reptile. reptile no reptile. this is godzilla all don't right. disrespect i godzilla. got the classic uh a bits nintendo over here you do Copa, or koopa trooper the fire uh, you flower, disrespecting people and right luigi there. and then you got the one up mushroom down here yeah. so, nice yes. so yes. good job uh, we're in March, man. Well, March there comes. Uh, March Madness. Plat- the March Madness comes, and there's also um, a lot of games push out to the springtime. Yeah, they yes. have to be now. They have they to do. be. The, these they these do. AAA OG titles are taking all the prime spot, and they're like, we I can't. Man, we we don't want this type I, of heat. No. Uh, is there something in early June? Is there <laughs> is there some- a space <laughs> available for you in November? I want to stay no. away. From we don't November. want November. <laughs> Oh, and I want to. We got stay March. <laughs> we got April, and of course, we always got July. Yeah. But today, we are talking about the games that are coming out to you guys uh, in the month of March, and some big news that have happened so far in the month of March as well. And then we still got at the end of the show, so hold on to that to find out what our anime of the month and also manga of the month is. Yes, and to figure out how you can win this exclusive copy of the Division Number One to prepare you. Oh no, dos. For well, I guess no dos. <laughs> Division Two. Prepare for dos. Yeah. Prepare for dos. So there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit him with that March goodness. You've got all the stuff under control, sir. Yes, sir. To... So we got Devil May Cry first, right? Or yeah. not Devil May Cry, Dead yeah, or Alive. Dead or Alive, yeah. And this is what we're calling Reboot Refresh. Yes. Damn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we even show you that, I know you guys saw that a little bit. I want to take a little piece off what we do on the AOS podcast. Check us oh, out at okay. twitch.tv or twitch.tv forward AOS podcast. What have you been playing, sir? Oh, I was We're gonna, just going to hit on this lightly. I was going to hit on it, but uh, One Piece... World I saw Striker. you stream a little bit this yes. morning. How yes. was it? That's the first Beautiful. One Piece game that I've thought about picking Actually up. Actually picking up. Yes. The open yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the open world is amazing. Everything's very vibrant and bright. It looks like the anime. And the anime has kind of been changing tone, so it's a little bit darker in the anime. And this makes you feel like, oh, this is Luffy and them out on another adventure. And what I said in the stream was that One Piece has a way of captivating this audience. In the show, you have different arcs, and it's pirates. So it's like, okay, well, they're going to go on adventures. But when you talk about the movies and the video games, those are separate adventures that you're only going to get in those those mediums. But they're also, it makes it feel like a part of the show. Like, this is another day in the One Piece, in, mm. in the Straw Hat Pirate's life. This is another adventure they go on. This is what makes them so strong, because sometimes they leave out those moments, like those training montages that... They do in heavy fighters. It's like, well, how are they getting stronger? Oh, they conti- continuously go through shit all the time. Yeah. Um, so in that aspect, being an original story and meeting um, the prison island, meeting a warden that can actually hold down anybody because he's got sea stone, which is the type of material that weakens devil fruit users. And he's got it in, like, electronic cuffs that he can shoot his hand at Luffy's neck. Because you missed a cutscene. Yeah. yeah. He has a glove. and it may, Like saying, Thanos glove? Yes. And he goes, boom. He shoots it around Luffy's neck. And Luffy's, like, hovering in the air. But the sea stones make him weak. So, basically, he's a normal human. He doesn't have his abilities. Hmm. And then he just ran up on him with those um, uh, jet boots, kind of like Bison, and mm-hmm. put his hand back in the glove and then went to whooping Luffy's ass. So, it's like, the level where Luffy is now to... to 
kind of get put in this place at the very beginning of the game. It's like, Sense oh, shit. Yeah. So if you guys want to know more about that, check out this same channel. Elijah will probably be streaming more of that. You're going to stream more of that this oh, week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet, yeah. sweet, sweet. So if you are confused as I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tune into the stream and I will give you one piece lore. I will explain the characters and explain where I think the game is going as I play it. So you're mm. getting my first reactions to everything. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And other than that, I think... I think I hopped on some. Oh, I hopped on uh, Jump Force, but the internet was buggy mm. and people was quitting too. Mm. Like people get those hands on them and it's yeah, like they get kind of upset about that. And I don't think that game is punishing those people just uh, yeah. enough yet, in yeah. my opinion. Not yet. Um, what have you been playing? I did. I did a little Jump Force. I picked it back up okay. from old Joshi and uh, jumped back on a little bit. Um, yeah, but the sweatband on. Did you go into training? No, 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 no. Just casually. Honestly, I haven't been in a mood mood to really mm. play yeah. hardcore games. I think I, I really in my heart I want to play Left or Life, which we'll talk about that in Ooh, a minute. Yeah. Uh, and I also really want to play Yakuza, Kiwami 2, mm -hmm. but I don't feel like it's the right time for me to play that just yet. And then I really want to check out the Devil May Cry 5. Oh, yeah. I did, I did the demo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Boy. the demo was definitely challenging, and um, that's I think that's the game that I'm looking for, because I have been playing Call of Duty uh, Remastered, okay. because that's available right now for all our PlayStation Plus members for free. So go down, if you're a PlayStation Plus member, go down to the store and download that game for free. Or just put it in your library to save it for another day. I've yeah. been playing that game. As you know, that game was the movement, in, I, in, my, in my opinion, oh, yeah. as far as difficulty, mm -hmm. especially in a uh, first-person shooter. Oh, yeah. Uh, that game is freakishly hard. And uh, <laughs> it's, it, I'm being reminded... Uh, where you are every time I jump on it I'm getting better but yeah. if I can back in day, I, I mean I'm, I already got it on my belt if you check my Xbox Live achievements I already got yeah. that Call of Duty beating on veteran but nowadays it's, uh, it's a little you bit more time you have to challenging. relearn yeah so yeah you have to relearn so I've been playing a little bit of that but honestly I just haven't I need to play either Devil May Cry 5 which I'll pick up this week and um, Yakuza nice. Kill want me to nice yeah. that ain't bad though yeah it, stories for both of those seem really well One Piece story seems really well so I mean there's a lot of good stuff out now it made it hard to decide oh and I'm playing Apex I, I have been playing that oh so you jumped on too so yeah I've been playing Apex for a little bit not hardcore so don't don't anybody get twisted um, but I did jump on that this past week and um, yeah it's the, the climate you can tell the climate is moving really fast in that the okay. culture I'll put it like that the yeah. culture is moving really fast in that game uh, when, from when I first jumped on it to where people are at nowadays, mm. uh, the experience level is kind of high. Kind of steep, huh? Just a little bit. Does that make you want to go to Destiny? No. I was watching, actually, John Robles, which you can check him out at jrobles44 uh, on Twitch.tv. And um, he was actually streaming that the other day. Mm -hmm. And I was, um, I'm going to talk, he's actually on our guest uh, on the ALS podcast yeah. later on. And I'm going to uh, ask him about those L's he were taking. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh. Yes. Okay. And, yes. Absolutely. And if he's down, I wouldn't mind jumping in Crispo with him at my low rank, especially with a bottle of wine uh, and seeing what we can do. Yeah, I might have to pick it up since uh, Div uh, Destiny Two is nine bucks. Damn. Yeah. This I'm not surprised. It's not yeah. even worth that. It's not oh, worth that. Yeah. But anyways, first on our list, sir, if you have it pulled up, uh, is it Dead or, Dead or Alive? Right. Dead or Bam. Uh, Dead or Alive Six. Gotcha. What's wrong? Thought you thought you were gonna pull it up. Oh, here it is. See. Oh wow! Yeah. Like motherfucker, dude. Yeah, you do. You I don't am, realize, dude. I am just asleep. hey, it's hey, that experience. Focus today. on focus. what I told you to focus. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, devil. Or now you're just all fucked now. up. Yeah, dinner on live six. six. I did the same thing when I first saw these show notes. <laughs> I saw that and I actually like backspace it all and mm -hmm. I put devil may cry five yeah. and then I scrolled down. I was like, oh wait, oh, oh, oh that's right. Yeah. This is oh, yeah, yeah. dinner live six is <laughs> back. Uh, for all of us on the PS4, Xbox One, PC, this came out on March 1st. And like I said, we're going through all the games that came out in March this, uh, this episode. But uh, Dead or Alive 6, man. Yeah. I and can't say it's been highly anticipated because, honestly, it didn't fell off. I didn't know that it was even coming out this year. I, I did because of the trailers. Like, we talked about the trailers. Like, oh, they could bring this back, blah, blah, blah. But I was still like, <sighs> Soul Calibur. I'm really Tekken. hoping they brought this back just to give Ryu Habusu the little boost that he needs to be coming back for the next gen. Maybe. Another Ninja Gaiden. If you guys yeah. don't know, the, yeah. the, the, another game called Ninja Gaiden is uh, featuring one of the characters from Dead or Alive 6, Ryu Habusa, the Ninja Ninja. Yeah. He ain't just normal normal Ninja. He's Dude. the Ninja. He is the Ninja. But you got but, anything on it? No, just like, uh, we just run down the list. Like, oh, I, okay, I, gotcha. I'm not really anticipate, like, it's not on my list. Like, it's probably in, like, my top 30 mm -hmm. to, to pick up. So, eh. 
But next on the list, we got uh, mm, classic. Toe Jam and Earl yes. back in the groove, Dang. ladies and gentlemen. This is an old school game, only for twenty nine ninety nine, I mm-hmm. believe. And uh, this came out also on March 1st for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC and Switch even, which I will highly recommend if you're a Switch player oh, yeah. to pick up this game because it's uh, uh, just it's fun yeah. but it's simple at the same time. It's yeah. challenging. It's old school challenging, yeah. but on a simple platform. And you know, that reminds me, I got him back on Earthworm Jim. So I was like, oh, dude, the, the mechanics are just so different from what you play now. But Toe Jam and Earl, Earthworm Jim, all those games that were back in the day, those are the ones where you're going to be sitting there like, I should run through, kind of like Crash Band, because I should run through this pretty quick because I played it. But like, no, no. I said that about Call of Duty. I was yeah. like, I'm about to breeze through this. Bop, bop. I'm getting, <laughs> who is shooting me? <laughs> are you doing that fear of style? <laughs> no, I haven't even got there yet, dude. It's, oh. it's to the point where I'm still like, who shot me? Who the fuck? Which one of y'all? <laughs> Which one of y'all what? motherfucker? I felt like, uh, wait, wait, Chris uh, Tucker. Yeah, Chris Tucker. In Russia. Who the fuck I said, y'all kicked me. <laughs> Who kicked me in here? Uh, next on our list is a game that I'm actually looking forward to is mm. Left Alive. This is good as fuck. Yes. Coming out for the PS4 and, and PC, March 5th. Um, this is a, the people who actually helped out with Metal Gear Solid mm-hmm. is the people who migrated over to this particular project. And, um, from what you can tell, picture Metal Gear Solid mixed with mechs. Yeah. You are behind, you're not in behind uh, enemy territory, but you are in a war stricken country and you are utilizing your skills as a uh, warrior, soldier. I guess, soldier yeah. to try to, you know, fight the enemies around every corner. Uh, so this, this game does a lot between uh, foot combat, uh, third person. But then they also got Max involved in it. It looks beautiful. Once you w- watch it, you will clearly see a Metal Gear feel to it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually wanting. This is one of the games I actually want to touch on. No. <laughs> yeah, let's just go to the next one. Like you explained it all. Like I'm excited for it. You, you covered it, dude. Next game on our list is the game that we've been uh, constantly talking about throughout the whole show so far. Yeah. Is we got Mr. Dante Nero and a Weird Out Virgil. Uh, in Devil May Cry 5. Mm-hmm. Uh, this game is uh, came out last uh, two weeks ago for the PS4, Xbox One, PC, mm-hmm. March 8th. Huge anticipated game. Uh, completely blew my mind. Over the years, I think I have uh, voiced my opinion last yeah. year about how disappointed I was in the series. In the series and how they weren't using the new Dante and blah, blah. But no spoilers from what I've heard and read about the story on this one. It made me. I'm a hundred percent convinced. I'm gonna. I'm gonna enjoy this game thoroughly. It's one of those games where, no matter which version you play, it does have a life of its own. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just graphically, every time it gets more beautiful. The basic structure of the combat is the same with some with some new little tweaks, but the graphics just pull you into that world, and you feel like you're Dante or a V or whoever that you're playing, you're just like, okay, this is who I am right now. You Like me, I change my posture when I play as different people because you get in that mode. Yeah. And that's the one thing that I always love about Devil May Cry. Yeah, and then like the Devil May Cry 4 series, uh, the Devil May Cry, I didn't say series, yeah. but Devil May Cry 4 mm-hmm. was a letdown for me because it didn't just fit yeah. with the story for me. But now, even with the story that they have in Devil May Cry 5, it kind of... T- brings in four and makes it a little bit more sense so i know our buddy uh jay stone a12 mm-hmm. which follow him at twitch.tv forward slash jay stone a12 he is going to be streaming devil may cry one oh he's going through all the, the way deal, yeah. he's going through all the way i don't know how long it's going to take him because right now he's moving so i don't know how long it's going to take him but uh that's nice. something to look out for so if you want to see the whole gameplay check him out jay stone uh 812 uh next up on our list miss elijah bailey we have our buddy the yawn ball himself, yes. or the the ball himself transformed into the yawn. yawn. Mm-hmm. Kirby, have you yarn? Uh, was it extra? Yeah, epic uh, extra. There uh, we go. Did you play the first one? Hell no. We played it, and it was it was it was Wait, 3ds. <laughs> FY, this is just 3ds. Yeah, because I had a huge rant about that, and coming out March eighth. Continue. Yeah, it should have been on Switch because yeah. it was on Wii U, and I'm sure it was. You know, I had all these trailers if you wanted to use them. No. Oh, okay, it's cool. Just yeah. F Y. Like, continue. continue. The, the, YouTube has done its course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you uh, for now. But yeah, we played it the first time, and it was it was just fun for us to do a co op. But the way that they changed Kirby, and even like the the yarn games, like Yoshi's got one. They have another one. 
they have like a Pegasus yarn mm. um, or Kick Pegasus yarn. So it's different to see those characters in that format because you're used to Kirby doing certain things. Yeah. And it's just nice and light. It's like a, a palate cleanser after you got through some tough shit. You need to go to this bright, yarny world. But yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, so if you got a 3DS and you still log that around, <laughs> check out Kirby's Yarn Ball. Uh, next one, me and Tony went through a huge debate about this. The Caligola effect? Caligula. Caligula. Yeah. Oh, damn, we were both effed up on that show. <laughs> Caligula, Caligula effect okay. overdose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, PS4, <laughs> Switch, and PC March 12th. Uh, this game was pretty interesting. Um, picture being in a weird-out, glitched-out world. And... Uh, you're struggling between virtual reality and reality, I believe. Mm. Is that right? Am yeah. I hitting it right? Almost kind of like... Almost it, like SOA. Yeah. yeah. Because I was going to say dot .hack, but dot .hack, you stayed in... That world. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, in this world, you like, you're like, you're reliving... In, in this, if I remember correctly, in this world, um, a human's got the VR, like a VR-type system that can, you know, take you out of reality and put you in a non-reality world, but the lines between non-reality and reality has kind of mixed... Um, blur it out mm -hmm. and people are seeing non-reality stuff in their reality so you are trying to fight through this game and figure out what's causing this and all these weird glitches like I mean it's like glitch glitch like yeah. they were walking like yeah, yeah. There, was, there was some wild stuff going on um, next on our list is the game that we have here the prequel to the Division 2 mm -hmm. uh, came out March 15th with PS4 Xbox yep. One and PC this is a highly anticipated game another on our list that's two so far that's been mm -hmm. highly anticipated we oh, got yeah. Del McRae and also this one um, you're back with the squad yeah there's a little bit more I don't know what you're doing <laughs> then that like I'll let you do this one like so. uh, the some of the things that people enjoyed from the first game were was the area but the area felt too small so now there's a lot more freedom graphically everything down to the grass blades looks like Washington the graphics were good in the first one man yeah. it was just like the story and the gameplay was, well, the gameplay wasn't trash I'm not even gonna say that it, but the story was just like alright everybody's just here banging yeah it's the it's supposed to be I'm a good guy but am I yeah, I mean your survival. That's what it is. Like that's that's the deal that they made more apparent now. So how it looks stylistically is how it's supposed to play as well with the story. And then there's a tie into the dead zone now, the dark zone that you go in. Yeah, I remember that. That is not like you don't just go in and it's random. There's no, there's still no matchmaking for when you go in, but it's comparative to your level when you go in. So as you get stronger, when once you go into the dark zone... You're pushed to a stronger environment. Yeah, everybody. That's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good. And I, then it forces you to play with other people to learn. And it's like, well, what about people that are inverted, don't really want to play, they want to play with their squad? It's like, you know, the one thing we're trying to build is, is community. So mm -hmm. that's one thing that's missing out on. But it should, like from everything I've heard, 10 times better than The Division as far as the story driven to the area and then finding out why this happened and it working towards solution and then basing it in and you understand that it's a survival game hmm. so all right hope all you guys right. love it hope you guys love it here's a stay tuned to the end of the show figure out how you can get division one uh so at this moment i'm gonna let elijah take over the descriptions because i have reached my limit to uh, all the games that came out this month but next we got one piece <laughs> world seeker. world seeker yes. coming out ps4 xbox one pc you already got it march 16th mm -hmm. tell us about it you are with the straw hat pirates uh, the opening cutscene has been been leaked, so spoilers: five, four, three, two, one. Luffy has been captured by Navy admirals, and the rest of the team. You his, see, his them, arms was longer though. Like, oh. <laughs> and the Navy admirals, uh, the rest of the team, like Brook, Nami, uh, Chopper, Robin, Zoro, Sanji, the rest of his crew is in this little sky fortress and what they're doing is trying to crack a safe they find out that there's nothing in the safe it's so like abort everybody jumps off oh we done like, fucked up <laughs> yeah they yeah they like no parachute they jump off and like somehow they live and then Luffy gets caught gets his ass beat somehow gets away and then jumps off and lands on this island now you're trying to find basically what he does throughout the whole show he tried to he started by himself tried to find a crew to become the pirate king then they sporadically get separate and he has to put them all together and then make their way off of this island so that's the basic of it but i've already run into um smoker who is an admiral that has been fighting luffy since the very beginning since he was in rogue town and trying to capture him almost like a, uh, a Lupin and Zenigata type deal. Okay, okay, okay. And then uh, there's going to be other people from Luffy's past on this island as well, but the warden seems to be like the main motherfucker there because he's got some shit that don't nobody else have. And I'm like, 
Back Luffy. right on there? Uh, he should be. Teach. The teach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, he should be on there. I don't know if he's going to be working with the Marines or if he's going to be uh, captured. But I doubt it because I think right now in the story, he's one of the seven warlords, if not one of the four emperors. Let me ask you this. How many sea. episodes is uh, Luffy in? Fuck, dude. Like 900. So, it like pushed, so it hasn't hit 1,000 yet, but it's super know. close. Yeah, like an, like manga. They're yeah, EPO, yeah, they're yeah, EPO yeah. status. Yeah. As far as anime, let me check right now. I think it's like nine nine hundred and something. There's Here, so we'll, many episodes. We'll check that on break and come mm. back with that information. Uh, mm. The next game we got on our list, in which FYI, remember, follow this channel. You can check out Elijah streaming this ch- streaming in One Piece throughout this rest of this week. Um, the Chicka Bowl, Chicka Bowl, Chicka Bowl Mysterious Dungeon. Dungeon. Yeah. PS4 Switch, March twentieth. Yeah. The first game that we're talking about that don't come out till Wednesday. Yeah. So I. Chicka Bowl, Chicka Bowl, Chicka Bowl. I watched it. Final Fantasy Seven or Final Fantasy Chicka Bowl. Mm-hmm. The little ostrich. Chicken, it looks like it should thing. be on a. 3DS. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's just a nice little handheld game. You can play around, and it's, it showed like a lot of mazes. Mm. It kind of looked interesting. My first thought was like, oh, Chocobos. I got to tell Jessica that's her favorite fucking thing in the world. Like, for the last 15 <laughs> years, I've heard her talk about Chocobos out of nowhere. So, But I just don't know really how the gameplay is. Yeah, yeah. So. All right, no problem. Next game we got on our list is the Sinking City. Silence is golden. PS4, Xbox One, PC. The day after the 20th, which is Thursday, March 21st. Elijah, what you got on this game? Man? I don't even remember. <laughs> like, not even going to lie. Because I was, like, thinking. I was, like, what was this one? Uh, the Sinking City. I think it's, like, a <laughs> horror drama type deal. Uh, but I don't fucking remember, guys. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> We're going to look so, it up on break. I'll look that up while you look up the uh, the uh, other thing. I was going to say. We'll come back with you. If, you. <laughs> if you're part of Patreon.com forward slash Elijah Bailey Show, like, all the trailers are associated with what we're talking about and articles so you can go more in depth to these games to see if they're for you but yeah the singing city i can't fucking remember um <laughs> it, it happens it happens it happens the next game which is also another highly anticipated game where the heck Sekiro, is your... shadow die twice wait, wait 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 i don't i don't see it i think it's uh dice it's under dice dice all right go, go ahead and tell everybody about this yeah, Sekiro. Se- so it is Sekiro. 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 So you don't know maybe? either. Me, nah. me, me and Tony was having an argument about it today, trying to figure out how to p- properly pronounce this I particular game. I think it's Sekiro. Game. Shadow died twice. I can't remember. It's hard. Japanese is, is hard. It, it's easier than English, but it's still hard pronunciation. But yeah, they teased um, this game last year at E3. Dude, yeah, the there samurai, the battling. He's a one-armed samurai that literally has like a wooden mechanical yeah. arm, and he goes around laying business Hi. down. It's, it's like... Uh, a new uh, like remodel Zatoichi which was the blind samurai mm-hmm. but now you have a one arm like a samurai that is at a disadvantage has more to prove than a samurai that has everything because they've already been through those battles and fought so you know that whatever happened that they lost the arm they were willing to give that up so they're willing to sacrifice a lot to come to a resolution the so. game looks amazing it's also some of the people who made, who made Tenchu Z if you guys remember that game crossed over to make this game so it's almost like a little bit predecessor um, a spiritual predecessor to it. So uh, check out that game. That's another huge game that's coming out this particular week on March 22nd, which is the, technically, I guess, Wednesday is the first day of spring. Mm-hmm. March 20th is the first day of spring? I thought always always the 22nd. I know the spring equinox on the 20th. Anyway, and also the full moon that brings in fourth of spring. March 22nd, PS4, Xbox One, PC. A little nerd information for you, just in <laughs> case if that went over a lot of people's heads. It did. Uh, the next game I have on the list is... Danganronpa, a trilogy. That. There it is. There we go. Which is a crazy fucking deal. Uh, if you guys have ever PS4. seen... PS4. March 26th or the 29th or the 20, yeah like it said like there was two releases I think one's for the people who pre-ordered or the one like the uh, no yeah yeah. so because there's one 26th and one 29th but if you guys have ever watched the anime or the series it's a world of highly volatile <laughs> people that want to <laughs> fight and, in a fucking bunch of Gokus that don't have the stupid personality but like it's kind of like preppy-ish what I'll wait Persona? to this end of yeah. this. Before we go on break, I got some news. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, I would say this is just the trilogy of all the games. I haven't played them, uh, but I would suggest that's one of the ones I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get it and go ahead and, and play through it so that way we could kind of break it down on one of these episodes. I want to start breaking down certain series, and this one is very interesting just because the story is just like almost all over the place. Yeah. But it's continuously all over the place throughout three fucking games, so... Mm. 
Nice. The other game we got is, which I'm low-key excited for, especially for the Switch, for the Xbox One and Switch, we got Final Fantasy VII coming up for you. March 26th. Um, it's not the remastered version. It's just a ported version of Final Fantasy VII. But the reason why I'm excited for it from the Switch is because I can see me playing that game easily. Mm. Easily. Easily? You don't understand. We- easily on the Switch. This is one of my top five favorite games of all time. And... Uh, this game means a lot to me in general, um, so I'm I'm eager to play it. And I'm, hopefully, this is getting a setup that I know we miss a PS3 because yeah. Final Fantasy VII was supposed to be back on the PS3. Yes, apparently we're going to miss the PS4 as well. But hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, and I don't think there's any other game in history that has been this much just needing, especially with the fact that Final Fantasy or not Final Fantasy, but the Kingdom Hearts Three is now done and out. Yeah, the same person who's doing directed that is the one directing Final Fantasy VII. Hopefully now he's focused on it. We're going to see it for the PS5 in the next one, <laughs> and hopefully we can grab that motherfucker by the by the god the gods mm. and take my money because I'm buying whatever highest limited edition they have. You, anyway, can you afford that? Uh, I will afford it. Hmm. I will sell the studio for that. <laughs> <laughs> next on our list is Assassin's Creed Three remake. Oh, remastered. I'm sorry. Yeah, Coming out for the PS4, Xbox One, PC, March 29th. This was an Assassin's Creed game that no one cared about to begin with. God so damn. I'm glad that it's been remastered to look like, I guess, a little bit better than what it did. It didn't yeah. look bad. It didn't look bad at all. Like, no. people just. I like, don't like it. Because this is the one that came over to the United States, right? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like half black, Indians. half Indian. Yeah, yeah. Well, when, once people we got out, once we got out of Anglo-Saxon times, we were like, nah, not anymore. Yeah, there's no more color in my American history. Yeah. Uh, but I liked it because it it showed actual Native American culture. It showed uh, black culture. It showed the the times and. Like, How real did they keep the black culture? Were they slaves? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. they kept it, like, they. everybody that's not I white. I Mafia 3 type stuff? Yeah, okay. everybody that's not white is discriminated against okay. heavily. But Connor, Connor Hawk, I think is his name, or Connor something. Because this is one right before Black Flag, right? This, yeah. Because or this was, is after Black Flag. No, this was before. Because they had this one, they had the, the black girl, which I don't know what time period she was on, but I think she was sailing, and then that led to Black Flag. Okay. Uh, which was Conroy, Kevin Conroy. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Not Kevin. Something Conroy. Yeah. So I'm thinking of Batman. Yeah, you are. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this one was cool because it, the uh, Gettysburg, uh, just anything that had to do with, <laughs> I want to say anything good, but American history, they actually brought out and shone light on the things behind the scenes. And in those battles, like, hey, it wasn't a whole bunch of white men that saved it. It was a half black, half Indian guy. Or this happened, and these memories are important to Desmond Mile because – they get him further into that history of becoming an assassin in modern day because the stuff that he was learning in Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, he ended up picking up the abilities and could do them now in the future. So, yeah, I know. There's a lot. So next on our list, we got Tropicana. or Tropical 6. (laughs) Tropical 6, PS4, Xbox One, PC, March 29th. Um, This is a game that's almost like a development, like a Sims type game, SimCity, like, not SimCity, but... uh, Sky Sky yeah, Limit yeah. that we had Reese Dowd on. Skyline. Yeah, Skyline. There we go. Yeah. Um, Don't fuck it up because Reese is watching right now. Yeah, he's like, watching. You're, 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 you're creating a, a, a city, <laughs> a, a country. Yeah. And I, I try to dabble in these games, and you would think these games are perfect for me. Yeah, you would. But I have yet to really been able to really enjoy it. I think I just need to be cleared out of all distractions. That's not going to happen. And just It's not yeah, going to yeah. happen. But I need to be cleared out of all distractions and just be like, you know what? I ain't got nothing to do today. Let me try this game out. Like last night, it could have happened, but I was sleepy. Mm. So I didn't even jump on any games that night. But anyway, coming out PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, next on our list, in a, is this the last game? Yeah, I think this is the last one. Yep. Is we got Yoshi. Mm. Crafted World. This one was one of uh, Yoshi. Switch, March 29th. <laughs> uh, Yoshi Woolly World that came out on Nintendo Wii and Wii U was cool. Again, it was, it was different seeing Yoshi, and then they had different Yoshis too. So you go through levels, uh, you could you know eat war, uh, have like a balls of yarn around you, and then just like Yoshi would take in somebody and make them an egg, you just use those yarn balls, you throw it, that would build a construct, or you're killing animal enemies, um, and then you could also use it if you're a partner. So me and Jessica would play 
every level has like a different theme like tundra desert fire kind of like just like the mario levels do and then you can be different types hey, this is uh cinnamon cookie yoshi or this is blob yoshi or whatever and you take that into the level it adds like a little bit of customization but which each before each level it's like hey you could spend this many credits to get unlimited like no falls or you mm-hmm. can spend this many credits and it's just basically challenge to challenge level to level as you're going through going up tunnels down tunnels through spaces and it's just all yarn it's just a different presentation on yoshi hmm. but i'm excited for this one nice 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 come off of the switch and uh on that note we've hit you with all the big releases that are coming out in the march 2019 we're gonna come back with you in a little bit minute after the break to pause hit you the with calls. a pause for, for the, the motherfucking calls <laughs> And uh, on the Elijah Belly Show. Yeah, we'll be right back. Hey, folks, this is Elijah 5000. And Monica Robinson. And we're your host of A Little Bit of Anime. Your number one stopping spot for all the latest anime news and reviews. If you want to join in all the fun and anime goodness, then make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts and Podbean. And please join us every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Elijah underscore 5000. And remember, please brighten your day with with a little little bit bit of anime. anime. Welcome to the adventures of Splacatel, or the AOS Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Buck. And this is Tony. And we are a video game podcast, giving you all the update video game releases that are coming out that you need to know, and the video game news that we want you to know. Follow us on Facebook, Black and Gaming Network, and Twitter and Instagram at Black and Gaming. And you can also find this podcast on Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, by searching the AOS Podcast. Ooh! Leon, have you watched Trigun? All right, sorry. Good job. Uh, so That's how we come back. Slightly remember it. Oh uh, God, uh, it was so good. And then, like, so. And then to, Leon ruined it. Well, so. with Trigun, it's like you remember the first. 12, 14 episodes. Yeah. And then once the last half kicks in, yes, you completely forget about the first the 12, only, the only, 14 episodes. The only one within that 14 you remember is El Diablo. That is very true. Because Vash yes. got up in his ass. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're back. Uh, we finished the March releases. Now... Let's talk about some news. A plague strikes the master race. Uh, Apex Legends, which you are dabbling in, Mm -hmm. uh, to to be accurate. I was going to say playing, but we know dabbling. Dabbling. Um, Dabbling. They've had some cheaters. So we got this in on March 8th. It says Apex Legends Respawn bans 355,000 cheaters on PC, and that's just the beginning. Respawn is putting cheaters in its sights. Respawn Entertainment is not taking the master or the matter of Apex Legends cheating lightly. Uh, for a game that is played exclusively online and brings together 60 players for each match, the potential for cheating ruining the experience is a real problem. Respawn has its band hammer out and is ready to go. However, as developer confirms in a Reddit uh, post that was, and like I said, this came out March 8th, um, it has, um, bah, 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 I just lost. Okay, it has, it has banned more than 355,000 players on PC alone. Respawn uses an easy anti-cheating tool for the PC version uh, of the Battle Royale game. And it continues to go on. It's working on some um, a, a new type of software because the problem of stopping the cheater is going to be an ongoing war, which we've seen in multiple games before. Um have you been doing the battle royales? Yeah, that's the only thing you can play in that okay. game is battle royale. And um, I never, at least I, I'm aware of, I never had to experience a cheater. Mm-hmm. I just thought, you just know they're out there. I just I thought my L was an L, <laughs> <laughs> but they cheated. They but cheated. I that's mean, you I mean. never know. I mean, with games, you know, especially with online games, everybody's going to always seek the advantage. Um, yeah, especially since the, the that game highlights the champion, the win who is entering the match with the most the last Ws. Dragon. Uh, the most uh, wins, the most kills, whatnot. So 
you know, it's only to be expected. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Respawn had some comments, says, we'll need to continue to adapt to and be very vigilant about fighting cheaters. Uh, we take cheating very seriously and care deeply about the health of Apex Legends for all players. Uh, Respawn added, it's now working on new anti-cheating software and measures, but the developer doesn't plan on uh, openly communicating its plans, uh, you know, for obvious re- reasons. says, we're going to have to have a pretty secretive... Uh, we're Supposedly be secretive about our plans. Sorry, everybody about the wolf guy popping up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, cheaters are crafty, and we don't want them to see what's coming. And then it kind of breaks down what they're actually, what they have been doing up until now, but this is all going to change uh, going into the future to make sure that they stop as much cheating as possible. It says, at the high level, Respawn said it has already begun communicating with anti-cheating experts within EA and outside of it. Not only that, but Respawn has begun to scale up its own internal anti-cheat team, while the studio also plans to introduce new reporting functionality for bad behavior. With more than 50 million players already and its popularity continue to grow and rise, it's no surprise that... 50 million? Yeah. See, and that 300,000 that they ban is not even... That's a small Yeah, that's just the beginning, yeah. And that was on the 8th. So by now, it should be probably well over like 500. And I'm not knocking them, dude, because I don't, I mean, why cheat? Because that's how how little people think of themselves. I just explained it. I just explained it. Anyways, what's what's next, man? Uh, next Which I don't see. You got a picture for this one? Uh, no, I did not. Thank God. Why are you telling me? No, no, I did. For Shinmu? I saw it there on the show notes, but I don't see it in the, um, Uh, this thing. Uh, here, I'll talk about it if you can want to find it. Uh, we have, uh, Shinmu 3. Not one. Not two where they left this hanging back in the early 2000s, but three. Uh, the publishers are helping to release a Shinmu 3 trailer, uh, which has released, uh, or after being defeated by a fairly tough brute, <laughs> brute, <laughs> yeah. Ryo begins to solve the mystery between the mirror, uh, the Phoenix mirror. And if you remember in uh, Shinmu 1, that is what got his father killed by his uncle, was the Phoenix mirror. No, his uncle just knew what it was. His, his daddy was being trifling. Mm-hmm. His daddy was holding on to some good gush and was not <laughs> trying to share it or exploit it or do what it's made to be doing. Okay. Uh, and also he learns that some new fighting moves and some uh, from an old man who he knew his father before he passed away. The trailer is fairly quick, but should act as a good sampler for what players can expect from the long-awaited, much-anticipated sequel, that should be hitting August 27th on the PS4 and Xbox or in PS in PC. Sorry, um, I saw this trailer. It got me excited just because I'm a Shenmue fan, and that the fact that I also played Shenmue One and Two. Now, if I am brand new to this series and saw this, I'll be honest with you, man. Low key, mm-hmm. I would be like, I'll just play Yakuza. You didn't want to see him fight the old man. I saw it, man, but you could you could tell, you could see, and it's sad to use this phrase, but you could see age in this game. Yeah. You yeah, don't the, never want to see age in a game. No, especially not a brand new game. <laughs> <laughs> this game looked like it, it probably. It's, it's kind of brand new. It's like a, it's like a, like an old baby. Like, yeah. you know, this baby's been here for a while, but that baby's <laughs> old now. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it was rough, but you know, hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully it was just what I was just Just over. hold on to your nostalgia. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was just like, pushing it too hard. But, um, yeah, so Shinmu 3 is supposed to come out this uh, later on this year on August 27th. So if you have not seen the trailer, go check it out. Um, and with that, I got a couple little hit bits. I'm going to call them quick Ooh, fires, nice. okay, uh, boom, boom, boom. that we're going to talk about real quick in the news section is that, A, if you guys have not seen that – <laughs> that was not it. <laughs> yeah, guys, not saying as you know, as you know, Sonic the Hedgehog is coming out with a new movie this year. Uh, everybody got mixed feelings about it. Oh well, but I do want to hit on the fact that they had they to. have confirmed the new Sonic video game, and yeah. I was wondering that is this Sonic video game is going to be a more uh, developed video game than the previous Sonics that are just meant for children because of the fact that they have a movie coming along. So through nothing was shown, uh, although nothing was shown early today, this was yesterday, uh, at the Sonic XXSW, which is in Texas, 2019 panel, it was confirmed that the next Super Sonic, not Super Sonic, just sorry, Sonic the Hedgehog title is in development. It's going to be Sonic running from them reviews. <laughs> it's going to be running his ass off, throwing coins at people to forget the movie. Did you see the fan-made version of Sonic? So much better. So much better. 
because they had the they had his eyes right. They I did the see gloves, yeah, the boots, they had everything. They, had they everything got rid right. of his dick. You know, they <laughs> made him look like Sonic in the games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, we'll we'll, we'll we'll see. To keep going with this quick fire, we also got the Jump Force <laughs> releasing their next DLC, yeah. which is Seto Kaiba from Seto Kaiba. Seto Kaiba yeah. from Yu Gi Oh with the blue eyes, uh, three eyed dragon. Uh, blue eyes, three, three head headed, dragon. Right. They never said three headed, but he got three heads, motherfucker. He's got six eyes. Like a hydra, like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they got him coming out for uh, the Jump Force. We also got Dragon Ball Z Fighters DLC. We got the little homie, yeah. Goku. From GT mm-hmm. coming out as well. Um, talking about his grandpa. His grandpa. Talking about his grandpappy. I'm talking about Master uh, Daddy Gohan. <laughs> um, also, I want to throw this in there because we will be streaming this game to figure out what's really wrong with it. Anthem is uh, to receive a huge update yeah. uh, to fix some uh, looting issues that the game has on top of all the other issues. But check us out at twitch.aos mm-hmm. or twitch.tv forward slash AOS podcast. And we're going to figure out what's really going on with that game. Uh, and that was all I had. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm ready for like I looked at Anthem. Yeah, I looked at Anthem. Oh, and wait, I have one more thing. You lied. Your game, One Piece. Yeah, just added a photo mode. Oh, nice. You can take pictures. That would be cool. That that <laughs> that kind of gets you in the world. Kind of like the Spider Man had the photo mode. Yeah. Uh, sure. But I I'm not that deep, and I'm only three chapters it. in. So mm. yeah. Well, if you see like a good <gasps> oh whoa, let me pause this game. No. Let me take it back. Let me take this picture. Let me add a quote to it. Ah, mm-hmm. Luffy, look in the sky. You know sky's the limits. Limits ain't just skies. Bam, done. You know what? He's making fun now. I'm going to get some sweet-ass poses, and I'm going to put them up in the show. I'll see. I'll see you on Twitter, which you can check us out at Elijah Bailey Show without the W. <laughs> yes. On Twitter. And with Elijah Bailey Show with the W on Instagram. No. <laughs> I didn't think it's it's without the right. right. <laughs> Elijah Bailey Show both ways without the W. Yeah. Uh, anyways, <laughs> okay. you ready? You want to jump in or go to break? Uh, no, we no, we're gonna go straight to anime and manga of the month, dude. Uh, we're not gonna end that on that. We're not going to break on that shit. Here, go um, ahead and start out with your anime or manga, manga of the month. Yes, yeah, since I know where Wolf Guy is. <laughs> okay, so manga of the month. We talked about this for the last. I'll cover you up. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Wolf Guy Okami no Monsho, who which is a uh, by Young Champion, uh, came out a long time ago. I read this whole manga. This is one that I think you guys need to read, especially like I don't give a fuck about. Halloween time or werewolf season or whatever the fuck that is doesn't matter matter. I want you to read this because it's a compelling story there is a little bit of a fucking weird shit going on yeah it's it's weird like women and fucking werewolves just throw me off this bitch is a teacher like she might be new as a teacher like on the young end of the spectrum but the kid she's teaching is like 17 they don't care yeah they don't savage Human years, he's seventeen. I think Savage he's a little bit over. Disrespectful, yeah, disrespectful man. It's a bitch, a hoe. Pedophile, but, motherfuckers. Oh, but uh, I tell us it was up. <laughs> Akira is a teenager with a secret, and his secret pretty much in, is the whole is that reason. He's fucking his teacher. No, no, that doesn't happen until later. It, it, the, the secret is that uh, something happened, and he had to leave his old school and come to this new he school. The other teacher. He wanted. To, <laughs> Sorry, that was the last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. I'll let you finish. <laughs> he wanted to get away and just be left alone. But then he fucked his teacher. Yeah. I gotta, you got to throw it in there That's now. What it is. But uh, the teacher noticed that he was getting picked on by the school's bully, uh, who is this crazy ass fucking. I don't even know what like Hawk from Hajime o Ippo. He's on that level. Like Hawk uh, was in the back oh, alleys and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now he ain't he ain't you know I got to fuck like twenty people before my fight. He's yeah. he's just like my dad's got money. I'm the shit around here. I could fucking rip your teeth. I could do whatever I want. You know how you know, yeah, Japanese yeah. culture is like they have yeah, that bad extreme. bad kid. Yeah. <laughs> And so, like, bad problems at home. Yeah, he he beats the shit out of the kid. This is the first chapter, or the first, yeah, first couple pages, really, like the first four to five pages. He beats the shit out of the kid because he stands up for somebody. And I mean, like, breaks his arm, fingers, and everything else. Next day, he comes to school, like, ah, and sits down in a chair, doesn't say nothing to nobody in this movie. He's like, I know I whooped his ass yesterday. What the fuck is this? He's just pretending. And so that starts the bullying. And then he gets to flex on him. You get to see some real werewolf powers. Like somebody, like a Wolverine, like, I just want to be left alone. It's like Bloody War type werewolf powers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you guys he don't has, know about that. You're too young. Yeah. For yeah. He has several stages. He has, like, this is my normal height. 
okay, I'm going to add some piccolo inches on your ass, and okay. then I'm going to go Broly. He, and he scales up, and then he goes full ass werewolf. And then if it's like a full moon, if it's a half, you know, its powers are affected that way. Okay. And then he had the Inuyasha episode where he has to fight as a human because he can't this, transform. Yeah. New moon. Yeah. New moon so, bullshit. <laughs> but the battles and shit are real good. So, so check that out. That is our current March manga. Yeah. Ma- manga of the month. Next, I don't see the other one. It was a trailer. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I know you wanted to show show off the show, and the, well, the show just, is I fucking just, badass. I just wanted the boom got it before you did. Thank Akame, got kill trailer as you're about to see right here. Yeah, it's really, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see the uh, follow. I, I completely forgot this story just because of the fact I've been so swarmed up in food wars. Mm, uh, no, I know how that but, works. Yeah. But the little homie from the from the from the countryside village comes into the main city to try to make a name for himself, where he can provide money for his. Oh, city! Yeah. Pretty much finds Akami, who is a part of the Night Raid mm. organization's assassins, to throw to try to overthrow the Leon's corrupted. Hair. Oh my bad. <laughs> no, you can't overthrow that. <laughs> to overthrow <laughs> the corrupted empire. Uh, follow along as they uh, just go around murking people. I mean, that's just surreal of it. This this anime was one that I literally binged in the weekend, mm. and that's it's one reason I can't remember it. But it's 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 a really good anime. Mm-hmm. Uh, for as short action, as it is, for as short as I think it's like only like 12, 13 episodes. Yeah. For how short it is, the type of comedy gore. If you like Seven Daily Sins, you would instantly love this anime. Uh, a comic got killed. You can see in the trailer right here. It's a bunch of gore. Everybody got different unique powers. Um, the fighting scenes are just epic, and they build up to the final scenes at the end. Of the at the end of the whole anime, uh, you you grow attached. They do a really good job at character development. Uh, and I don't want to spoil anything. That's why I'm not really telling you guys about the story because it's full of uh, oh shit moments, shit got real type shit. Yeah. Um, but definitely go check that out. Um, we're about to wrap up the mm-hmm. month of March, so I advise you to check out Wolf Guy. Is it Wolf Guy? Yeah, just say Wolf Guy because if you put in Wolf Guy manga. It will go ahead and find the rest of it. Okay, so just type yeah. in Wolf Guy and on this one right here, a comic got killed. You can find that on Crunchyroll and also on Hulu. Yeah, and we talked about uh, how many episodes One Piece has. One Piece currently in the continuity just for the series alone, 876 episodes with a new one coming out because it's ongoing. 876? Mm-hmm. Okay. But total overall, uh, overall, they have 1,089 episodes. Mm. I know. Man. I know, but if you're gonna watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, you might as well go one how long piece. Is that? I mean, it's got. I mean, seasons, season wise. Whoa, 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 how many JoJo got? Don't worry about that. Just watch it. Ah, man. But anyways, I'm still watching season three, part two of Food Wars right now, and man, how many? JoJo's just at 104 episodes. That okay, it's 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 getting there to where it's to the point of not no, no return. No. Uh, w- once you hit the, the 350 range. You you have to be committed. Like you have to be like that is true. Crap! I'm about to go up a long battle. Let's go. Let me get my back my my little backpack and I'm I'm hiking. I will say one thing that once you get in them laser seasons, you're gonna start hitting poses. That's gonna up your Twitter and Snapchat game right there. You're gonna be posting pictures because okay. JoJo got the poses. But Food Wars, where you, where you at? Oh, sh- season three on the last season, uh, part two of season three. So I mean that game. Crazy that, Daddy. I, uh uh. <laughs> Crazy dad. He ain't crazy. I understand what he's trying to do, but you know he got his issues. Because he had a crush. He didn't have a crush, he, man. He just he had you know he just looked up to the homie. He looked up to old boy's dad. He oh, was you're like, the hey, best. Nor- hey, you're the best he, in the world. He was though. Hey, hey, hey. When you can have a a, a, a Buddha or a monk mm. flying around naked. Just because he wants your meat. I know that sounds super, <laughs> you know, iffy, but that's just the real of it. Then you you cooking you laying down some cooks hey. like you ain't just cooking you cooking. When he came out as the devil, I challenge all you motherfuckers. Get everybody. I don't in think I've seen that part. Oh, oh. You, talking about, you talking about Soma? No, Kaiba, Jurichiro, his daddy. Oh, I mean his daddy was. I That's why I tell you he's so a he set of Kaiba. So he hasn't shit. came where I'm at right now. He dropped at the school. Oh, he just said, "Hey, what's up?" Dipped out. Uh, yeah. Now Soma just told. And they had their they had their battle on the block. Okay, okay. Soma just told old girl's dad. Uh, you know, old oh. girl's dad was tripping off of this this dude. He was like, "Oh, oh you, you know that was my daddy?" He was yeah. like, "That's your daddy." And the old girl walked. I was like, "That's your daddy." Okay, so she. Then got, they like. 
He's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's my pop. Who you who y'all thought taught me this raw ass skills? You thought I just knew by anybody? No, that's yeah. my daddy taught me that. Yeah. Excuse my language. The person y'all all worship. <laughs> taught my me daddy that. is your daddy. Is your daddy? Yeah, he's all our daddy. Honestly, that's what he acts like. He, yeah. he not even because he wants to be. Just how raw he is and just his uh, personality. He acts like come up with an ascot on me, like hmm, just talking French. Like, do you know French? No, they just like what? No, 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 no. no. But yeah, so I've been so coughing that man. Mm. Uh, I'm about to. Mm. I'll probably finish it out this week. Unfortunately, mm. I've been kind of like pushing it out. But uh, there's some. There's, that, that's a really good. This anime. season right here. This season right the one here. I'm on now. Yeah, yeah. The third season had me. This is like, the latest episode. This is the latest season, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then uh, have you finished it? Oh. Mm. Okay. I finished it when it first came out. I'm anyway. ready for this next season to come because it's it's crazy. Anyway, we're not gonna talk about that too, too much because that's not our anime of the month. Yep. But anyway, thank you everybody for checking out this episode of the Elijah Bailey Show. We hit on video games. Next week's episode is the return of Say Bailey. Bailey. You go. Yes. Yes. I have some ideas for Elijah, but we'll see next week if it comes true or not. We'll see what <laughs> episode number we're on next week because yes. now we're using the ti- the tags, the ID tags. Yes. So, so yeah. Yes. We'll but it'll that. be the Bailey Bugle. We'll still title it as the Bailey Bugle for yes. you guys to be aware of what episode that is um this was a matey's episode thank you guys for joining with us today yes. uh, elijah where can they find me at on oh okay you can find everything that you want to know about black and studios at black and studios twitter snapchat facebook instagram uh tumblr wherever you want to go <laughs> porn hub black and studios Done. With the verification. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find this show, Elijah Bailey Show, on Facebook and Elijah Bailey Show without the W on Twitter and Instagram. Please, if you want to comment and join the show, check us out every Sunday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time at Elijah or at twitch.tv forward slash Elijah Bailey. We have the division right here. Yes. All you have to do is tell us what which one of the new game mechanics you love about the division two. Bam. And you can get the Division 1 if you don't have it. That's oh, easy. Because uh, there's been reviews, articles. Yeah, you're right. That's yeah. going. What What do you got? Because you, you give me the face. My damn thing. Okay, there we go. Send it in to Elijah Bailey Show at gmail.com. Uh, address. And we will send this copy to our winner. And sign, dated, all that stuff. And then we want you to put a picture on your social media links tagging us at TEBS or the Elijah Bailey Show. I'm Elijah 5000. I'm the underscore buckety. And we'll catch your ass in the next podcast. Hey, what's up, everybody? Elijah 5000 here. Me and the Buckety appreciate it so much that you download this show each and every week. Again, we drop every Thursday. If you're new to the Elijah Bailey Show, go to Apple Podcasts, Podbeam, or Spotify, or wherever you listen to this auditorial pleasure that you get weekly, and just subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you, and I'll catch your ass in the next podcast.